Okay, guys, come to your seated position. I like this angle with this window here. I feel like it's, I'm getting all this energy from nature in the outside world. It's so pretty outside my window right now. So much greenery out there. So if you have a window, I think Susan has one right next to her, kind of feel that energy coming in from your window. And I know that uh, Ruthie has her right behind her and Nina probably right in front of her if she's in the spot I think she's in. So just take a moment to, to just sit down and kind of just absorb that, that energy from nature, from our mother Gaia, from our mother earth, and start to become aware of breath. Just kind of arrive into your body for a moment and take inventory of your feelings, of your thoughts, of your emotions, sensations. Not allowing them to linger too much or our thoughts to linger in one particular place too much. Just a, a more of a general, how am I feeling today? What are the quality of my thoughts today? What am I finding gratitude for just in this moment right now? How did the world look when I opened my eyes earlier today? Again, noticing the quality of your breath. Is your breath steady and rhythmic? And you're able to slow it down a bit, really connecting with the full inhale, feeling the inhale run through the body, inflating the body. And then can you connect with the full exhale as it releases out with it letting go any tension or tightness you might be feeling? Today's practice is on acceptance. So as we work through our first pranayama exercise, we'll keep that in mind, kind of just lingering the back of our minds. What kind of world does it mean to find acceptance? And for me, that changes on a day-to-day -day basis. But as we exhale, let's go ahead and tilt the chin down towards the chest, lengthening through back of neck. And kind of just move the head around a little bit, side to side, just kind of swinging the chin from the right shoulder to the left shoulder. Perhaps you slept with one too many pillows or not enough pillows and your neck is feeling a little bit strained this morning. Or perhaps just the movement is adding a little bit next level of awareness to a tightness you might be feeling in your neck. And then as we exhale, beat the chin down in the center, roll the shoulders back, blink the eyes open, allow the light to enter into the eyes, and then inhale, slowly lift the chin. So this practice of acceptance allows us to come into awareness of what it is that we drive away. And so in the meditation today, we're going to focus a little bit on that. And we did a little bit last week when we did the alternate nostril breathing, when we held one nostril and we brought in anything that we push away, anything that we're reluctant to accept. And then when we held the other nostril, we kind of brought in the awareness into anything that we are feeling attached to or that brings us, you know, we need to hold on to tightly. So we're gonna continue with that theme. Today, we're gonna do the actual nostril breathing, switching from side to side. So that means we bring the index finger and middle finger down into Vishnu Mudra. So we rest with the hand, thumb, ring finger, and pinky out. And you can have these two together if that's comfortable for you. Or you can even release these two and place them at your um, third eye or between your eyebrows. So that way you can kind of move from one to the other. I like bringing it down. It feels like I'm connected here with my arm. So you decide what's best for you. So when we hold the right nostril, we inhale left. We're not gonna retain today. And then we, or we exhale left, and then we inhale to the left side, retain the left nostril, exhale right. So this movement back and forth allows us to move the energy through the nadis. So if you've taken my Tibetan heart yoga, I know Nina has, um, 
your nadis are these channels that flow energy through the body and there's thousands of them you can imagine them being almost like nervous the nervous endings of our body right there's just so many little rivers of flowing energy and so there's three main ones and when we travel the hand from one side to the other we're transferring the energy from one nadi to the other kind of flossing the nadi if you will so when we begin this and this one might feel a little bit long for you so when we begin this if you get tired and you just need to take a break just rest your hand on your lap and take a break and just breathe normally for a few moments keeping your eyes closed still still stay in your sense of awareness and then when you're ready to you know continue then go ahead and move into the fingers okay also you might find that it goes really fast sometimes for me i'm like gosh i've been doing this for like 10 minutes how is that possible but if you become into this rhythm of it it almost becomes like hypnotic in a way so let's give it a try. Rest your other hand on your left thigh, your left hand on your left thigh. You can have your palm facing up into a mudra if you wish, or just resting in palm down, however that arm is comfortable. Right hand comes into Vishnu mudra, or fingertips on your third eye. And then rest your arm on your side so your arm doesn't feel heavy. From here, go ahead, close your eyes. And before we close any nostril, just take a couple of breaths through both nostrils. Slow inhale, slow exhale. Maybe take a swallow, let the tongue go limp in the back of the throat. Make sure that you're seated comfortably. And then we'll go ahead and close right nostril. Inhale through the left. Close left nostril. Exhale through the right. Keep left nostril closed. Inhale right. Close right nostril. Exhale left. Inhale left. Close left nostril, exhale right. Inhale right. Close right nostril, exhale left. Inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale right. Exhale left. Inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale right. Exhale left. Continue like this, inhaling left. Exhaling right. Moving with your own pace. You might slow it down a bit or maybe speed it up a bit. Inhale. Exhale. Always alternating sides. Inhaling left. Exhaling right. Good. 
Continue at your own pace. Alternating sides. Continue to become aware of the quality of your thoughts as you alternate your breathing. Stay mindful in the full breath expansion as you inhale. And the full breath release as you exhale. It's not out of the ordinary to start to feel a little bit lightheaded or maybe tingling in your body. Become aware of those sensations. Continue the breath. Allow each breath to guide you into a deep sense of softness and relaxation within the body. In the rhythmic movement of your hand, find a way to stay grounded. almost like rocking from side to side. But always centered in the middle, in the center line of the body. If you're a visual person, you might want to add a color to the breath. Let the inhale be a certain shade as it transforms the exhale into a different shade. You start to feel like the body is calling for your attention. Perhaps there's a place that feels uncomfortable in your seated posture. Ask yourself, do I need to change? Do I need to adjust? Or am I okay being here and accepting?
And we'll continue with a few more rounds of alternate nostril breathing. We'll try to even out our breath here so we can all be together. So let's take a moment to exhale through the right. Inhale to the right. Exhale left. Inhale left. Exhale right. Two more rounds. Inhale right. Exhale left. Inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale right. Exhale left. Inhale left. And exhale right. As soon as the breath is fully released, release the right hand to the lap or onto the knee. Soften through your right hands and notice how your fingers of your right hand feel. Notice how the air is now entering through both nostrils. And then again, also become aware of any sensations within the body whether they're physical or emotional, just become present. Not trying to push away any sensation or any thought, but also not trying to attach ourselves to it. Feel a sense of deep calm kind of washing over your entire body. Feeling balanced even, steady, calm. As we continue to breathe here, we're gonna to begin to deepen our breath slightly, adding a gentle retention in between the inhale and the exhale, and in between the exhale and the inhale. I'll guide you through. Inhaling deeply. Retain at the top, just for a moment. Notice what it feels like to not release the air. Notice what it feels like to hold. You might feel tall in your spine or lifted in your chest. Maybe even your chin is up slightly. And then exhale, let the breath out. Complete exhale. Notice what it's like to feel when you're not ready to inhale yet. You want to, your body's calling for it. Just become aware of that sensation of not inhaling. And then inhale. Again, filling the body. <clears throat> At the top, we notice how the breath retains. The expansion is complete. And then exhale, fully release. All the way back down to the earth. Don't automatically inhale after the exhale. Take a moment to just notice that sensation. And then inhale. Expanding. Retaining. 
And then exhale, releasing, retaining there. Body is empty. Inhale. Full expansion. Retain. Exhale. Full release. Retain empty body. Continue like this for a few more rounds. Becoming very cognizant, very aware of that retention space. It's only a few seconds. But as you move through the breath in this way, again, if you're a visual person, I like to visualize almost like I'm coming into the clouds as I inhale, and then I'm peeking above the clouds as I retain, feeling completely expansive in my body. As they exhale, I go back down below the clouds, grounded to the earth, feeling magnetized to the earth, empty, no worry, no stress, no strain. As I inhale again, I fill, peeking above the clouds, expansive, like the light of the sun shining. And as I exhale, coming back down, grounded, rooted, firm, supported, empty vessel, nothing to cling on to. Again, continue in this way, perhaps using the visualization or just noticing how it feels to feel expansive and to feel contracted. We'll do a few more rounds. Last one. And you exhale the last conscious and intentional breath. Go ahead and start to move a little bit through the fingers, maybe leaning forward, noticing if there's any movement that allows your spine to feel a little bit more comfortable, perhaps side to side. Bring the chin to the chest, let the head sway a bit. Blink the eyes, open awareness back into our space, and then slowly lift the chin up. Roll the shoulders back. All right, we're going to start to move a little bit using that energy we've gathered from this breath. So come off your seated cushion. Move them off to the side. I don't think we'll need them again, so you can just push them all the way to the side. Come onto hands and knees, and just start by moving side to side. So as you press into your fingers, kind of press the hips to the left, hips to the right, maybe lean back, lean forward, maybe cat and cow. Just start to move your body however it needs to move right now. One of the things they really love about yoga is just finding ourselves, finding what we enjoy. And it's so hard because, you know, we don't know, we want to follow what the teacher says and we want to follow what, you know, the pose is intended to do and the alignment of the pose. But today in this practice of acceptance, we're just moving into whatever feels good for us. So maybe that means coming into child's pose or any variation, or it means pressing forward into cow, or any variation that feels right. Maybe you wiggle around a little bit in your cow. And then as you feel yourself rounding through and kind of pressing into all the little muscles and parts of your body, we're gonna come back to center. Tucking the toes under slightly, press up through the knees and just gently move up into downward facing dog. So if you do one pose a day, 
any pose. If you do one thing a day for yoga, do downward facing dog. <laughs> it's such a great, all just general movement of the body. You're stretching your entire system. So ground your fingers, the knuckles of your fingers firm into the floor and think about pushing the floor away with your hands. Like you're trying to slide your mat forward. Draw in tight through your navel. So your navel pulls in tight and you're reaching your hips up and back. If your legs are tight, your hamstrings are tight, just bend your knees, but feel this extension in the full torso, fingertips to shoulders, shoulders to tailbone. Lengthen here through the spine. As you're ready, maybe you can start to bring one knee down or one heel down and then the other, straightening and bending through the knees. Keep that extension in the upper body. Finally, once the legs are nice and warmed up and feel good from months or years of practice, you can press those heels to the floor and let the head hang. I'd like for you to keep your eyes open in this one. So you're gazing towards your thighs or your knees, or maybe even in the direction of your navel. The breath is still steady. It's still flowing. We're still kind of moving into that accepting breath. And we're just releasing tightness here by holding. So we don't have to add movement in order to do our practice. A lot of our practice is just the practice of stillness. So find your stillness here. If this is really difficult for you and you need a break, bring your knees down, come into your Velasana, your child's pose. Hold that one instead. Honor your body and do what's best for you. This is your practice. Let's do one more deep inhale here, really extending the body through, feeling it throughout the entire system, back body and front body. And then exhale, slowly looking forward, bringing the knees down and sitting back onto the heels. Take a moment. So you might have found that to be a little bit strenuous because we held it for quite a bit of time. That was probably a total of about 20 seconds, which in the grand scheme of things is not that long but it might feel long. So we're gonna move a little bit more into some twisting and then we're gonna come down and I'll play the singing bowls for you guys. I can't believe it's almost time. It's crazy, this is going by way too quick. So come bring your feet over to the right. So you're sitting down on the left hip and then take left hand to your right knee. So your feet are kind of just off to the side. You're kind of just sitting kind of with your legs off to the side. Left hand to right knee or shin and then rotate right arm around. So just a little bit different style of twisting. If you find yourself really leaning to the left, then you might want to open your knees up a little bit wider to give you more base to stay grounded. But if you don't need to, stay with the knees together and rotate torso, look over right side. The breath is steady, it's fluid. And then exhale, slowly coming back through to center. Keep the legs as they are, just go the other way. So this time, if you want, we're gonna lean forward. So what you wanna to try to do is turn your whole body so your hands are next to your left hip. And then go ahead and lean forward, bring the elbows down, and maybe extend that right arm a little bit more. You can stay pressed onto that left arm. Just feel that stretch through right side body. And then lengthening, keeping right side body, hip down towards the earth so you don't wanna rotate it up but press down instead, reach up and over. Just the fingertips stay on the floor, wherever feels good for you. If you wanna go a little deeper, maybe lengthening that left arm so you go a little bit lower. And then exhale, hands back to center, come all the way back up. We're gonna switch the feet the other way. So come onto the knees, rotate the feet the other direction and find stability center in your torso. Remember, if you find yourself leaning too much, just open your knees so that you can find a little bit more um, balance there. Otherwise, knees together, right hand to left knee, left hand reaches around, look over back shoulder. And we're just trying to create an easy twist. Again, we're noticing how the breath has continued to stay pretty steady throughout. So we're not forcing the breath in any way. Just finding a nice rotation. Feels good after all that sitting. And then exhale, coming back. Okay, so we're gonna line ourselves up with the right hip. And just kind of leaning forward, 
Just start to bring that left side of your body forward. So really push into that left hand. And if you want to kind of walk it down just a little bit, you can stay on your hands like this. Totally cool. You can bring right elbow down. So once the right elbow is down, you have a place to support yourself. And then you can extend that left arm through and find that deep stretch all the way from left hip all the way to left fingertips. And stay there for a breath or two. Keep the left fingertips planted on the floor. It's going to give you a little bit of traction to reach towards. If you're feeling good, you want to add a little bit more, maybe walking that right arm out a little bit more and reaching a little bit more extension. So now you'll probably feel it in your right side just as much as you do. Well, maybe not just as much, but a little bit more than you did before. The left side is still a little bit more, um, you have a lot more feeling there. The stretch is more intense on the left side. And slowly exhale, walk the hands in. Bring yourself up. Beautiful. Okay, let's go ahead and move the wrists around a little bit. As we come into our uh, Shavasana, take your hands in front. Lift up to downward facing dog. Look forward between the hands and we're going to step the feet through. You can just let your body slide through. So you don't even have to stay lifted. So your feet are still kind of behind you. And then go ahead and extend your legs and lay all the way down into your Shavasana position. So for the last 10 or so minutes of class, I'm gonna go through a guided meditation in your Shavasana and you'll get to hear the bowls. How cool is that? I figured out a way to have the bowls in the, in the um, shot and not in the shot at the same time. Okay, so lay down on your back, become aware, of the points of contact your body is making with the floor. So that means that you might feel your glutes touching the mat, your calves, the backs of your heels, the backs of your hands, your shoulders, the backs of your head, And there's a gentle pressure that is being placed on the floor with these parts of your body that are making contact. So you have the option to either keep that focus there on those parts of your body that are making contact or switch it to the parts of your body that are not making contact. Every other part of your body that I didn't mention is probably not making contact with the floor. Those parts are floating. Those parts of your body, the majority of your body, is effortlessly floating above the ground, above your mat. And in this way, we are feeling completely light, airy. Allow the vibrations of the bowls to heal into every cell every muscle, every tendon, every ligament, every cell of every organ, your blood, your nervous system. Regenerating, changing its frequency, becoming light, airy as is its natural nature to be.
As we lay here, completely relaxed, calm, safe, supported. Bring your awareness to the space right between your eyebrows, your third eye. This is your center of intuition, of wisdom. This is how we're able to see things that may not necessarily be present in our current reality. How we intuitively know when someone we love needs us. How we intuitively know what to say, how to behave, how to act. We carry here our ancient wisdom from ancestors. Gently guide your awareness down to the center of your chest, your heart. Your heart is an incredible organ. More than an organ, it's a center of electricity. Even much more than the brain, your heart can generate electric, electrical impulses that are felt and can be measured outside the body. Science is only now being able to catch up to the ancient wisdom that is taught to us through yoga about the heart. It is our center of compassion. Feel this here now. A life lived through the heart is a life well lived. Now bring your awareness to the space just a few inches below your belly button and your lower abdomen. This here is the center. that we rely on. To feel safe. To feel connected to our passion.
from here we can awaken not only our sexuality, but our passion in general. Feel yourself here now. sacred place, our sacral chakra. Gently pull back from this awareness here. Scan through your whole body. And notice how all of these aspects of yourself full being of light, of love, of intuition, and of passion. Fill yourselves with that light. And as you move through your day, we carry this light with us. dim, we recharge by coming back to our practice. This is how we're able to light the path for those who may be lost in the dark. As we exhale, let's start to bring awareness back to our physical form, our bodies. Start to move through the fingers and the toes, the hands and the feet, the arms and the legs. Coming back to this physical form is where we can experience life. We can experience our passion, our compassion, and our intuition. As you're ready to do so, gently make your way onto a seated position by rolling off onto the side or simply coming up to seated. Take your time, there is no rush. Once you're in your seated posture, one more breath to just really fill your body with a deep sense of gratitude. Accepting where we are today. Accepting that the past and the future are within this present moment. We can look fondly or sadly at the past. We can look encouragingly or in a worrisome way at the future. The choice is ours. Come into that sense of acceptance. And as we exhale, let's draw the palms together at the center of the heart. Again, signifying that union of heart of body, of mind, and of spirit. We'll exhale the breath away together and inhale for Om. Om. Namaste.
namaste.